And just like that, we got another one. Clusport DD Plus with 15 Newton meters, so a little bit more than the 12 Newton meters the Clusport DD has. But crucially, play session compatibility. When the CSL DD came out back in the day, there was a long wait between the Xbox and PC version coming out and the play session one even being confirmed. So it's nice that this is now immediately confirmed for those that are play session racers. You don't have to wait to find out anymore. It's not available for pre-order yet, but it will be soon. Now, unlike yesterday's Clusport DD, which was announced and is showing up in the product pages, the Clusport DD Plus is not yet there. So there's no product page to mosey at or poke through. Uh, but if there is, then it will be in the Direct Drive uh, Racing Wheels and Direct Drive Basis section. So follow the link in the description if you want a shortcut to that. Fanatec seems to have this tendency to either announce things three weeks in advance or three years in advance. So this is a nice surprise that the place session compatibility DD is confirmed. It's a little bit more expensive. The normal Clubsport DD in the, in the EU, for example, is 700 euros. The Clubsport DD Plus with PlayStation compatibility is uh, nearly a thousand euros. So that's going to be a little bit of that PlayStation tax involved in that. But also that three new meters of extra torque is 25% extra force. Fanatec have also clarified what full force or the force feedback 2.0 for direct drive actually is. Now I interpreted this incorrectly yesterday as just more tweaks and dials and abilities to tune the force feedback. It's not that at all. Full force generates high frequency vibrations calculated at 16,000 hertz for a new level of immersive effects. Feel the engine revs and details of the road surface like never before. So this is clearly haptics delivered to you via the wheelbase. This doesn't sound like much if you've not had haptics on your rig or anything like that before. It doesn't sound very appealing. So what? A bit of a gimmick. But trust me, this could be your new favorite thing. I hate driving in sim racing without my book kick turned on. This is the same thing, but delivered via the Fanatec wheelbase. So this is potentially a good thing. If it's implemented well, this could be something that just cannot drive without. Further info on that firmware performance, which if you are to believe this graph indicates that the Clubsport DD will be basically best in class, they say. Uh, many mass market direct drive systems fail to hold their clean talk figures over time to avoid overheating and they specifically say this can run an endurance race at maximum force feedback settings so clearly they're making a special point a big song and dance that this will not overheat and for a select portion of you that is a valid concern so if they promise it they should deliver on it if they fail to do that then they're going to get a lot of egg on their face so the more confident they are the more confident you should be because the backlash if they fail to deliver on it will be worse than just keeping quiet about it. So clearly they think they've got something special here. So there we go then, this time around PlayStation users will not have to roam the comment section of YouTube and Facebook cap in hand pleading for a PlayStation version. It's announced and it's coming soon, hopefully not too long, but I'm sure that an official announcement is not that far away. This looks pretty ready to go to me. Check the link in the description for a shortcut to the direct drive and wheelbases section of the site where I'm sure it's going to pop up eventually and then a official announcement will likely follow soon after, much like the Clotsport DD did yesterday. So let's have a look and see and keep your ears out. Thanks again.